Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So we just pulled up over here uh, in St. Pete. We're gonna actually stop in at Sunray Marine and talk to Ken and the owners of Sunray Marine. So it's kind of exciting, something new. As you guys know, I've been looking at different types of boats uh, to see if I could potentially upgrade from my huge Redfisher to accommodate you guys on some of my fishing charters. So stay tuned, I got Chrissy Poo with me. We're gonna go meet with these fine gentlemen and uh, take a look at some boats. This is, this is really what we do. Sea uh, Pro is our number one selling line of boats. We handle everything from their 172. This is one I just delivered to a young fella. He's gonna be in the Redfish tournament. Really? Tournament fishing. Very cool. We put a jack plate and twin power poles on it. Some electronics, but that's a little 172. This is the 208. Uh, we've got a couple of 228s that just came in, and then the 248. And for Seapro, the 248 actually means something. That boat's 24 foot, 8 inches long. Right. Uh, a lot of times when you see a number on the side of a boat, it doesn't really mean right. anything. In this case, cool. it does. But I don't know if you know the Seapro story, but Seapro was a major builder for years. Back in and, the day, right? Yeah, and uh, Brunswick approached him. Uh, several years ago and wanted to buy the company and uh, the way the story goes Jimmy said it's not for sale and they said we'll give you 54 million dollars for it and he said I just changed my mind <laughs> so sold it to him and unbeknownst to anybody the industry was going to crash at that point so they didn't do anything with the molds with the name or anything so Jimmy went back a few years later and said I want to buy the name back so he bought the name C-Pro back and um, put a lot of money into R&D, so this is a completely new line of boats. Okay. The old Seapro was a good handling boat, but it had some wood in the hull and didn't have the best hardware. So Jimmy had to make a statement with these boats, so there's absolutely no wood in the hull. It's all 316 American stainless. The hardware on this boat is guaranteed for life. The boat itself has a five-year stem to stern warranty. To my knowledge, it's the only boat in its price class price range that has that kind of a warning. Really? Everything. Five years. Stem to stern, every switch, every fuse, every light, everything in is guaranteed for five years. And when you power with a Suzuki and you've got the six year non-declining warranty right. with a Suzuki, it means that you got five or six years of you know pretty uneventful boating. But the thing I love about it and will climb in the boat is the attention to detail, the fit and finish. Everywhere you look in that boat, you're looking at finished Joko. Nice. You can't find any raw fiberglass. I don't care where you look. But we can walk up here and climb Absolutely. on board. Absolutely. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Joshua here with Salty Scales. I am out here at Sunray Marine, and I'm meeting with Ken. He is part of the sales team. He's going to be showing us around on the new Sea Pro 248. It's a very, very beautiful boat. Been eyeballing it for a little bit. So I want to take a closer look. And I appreciate you taking the time, Ken. Joshua, we appreciate you coming on out. Absolutely. So he is a professional. He knows all about this boat. We're going to jump on board, and he's going to tell us about all the minute differences that really make this boat stand out. And I'll tell you, just from looking at it from afar, she, she's a real gem. So let's take a closer look. We, we tend to order the 248s pretty well equipped because we know they're going to be a flats boat, but they're also a very offshore capable boat. So storage is critically important. This is not a light boat. This boat weighs 3,000 pounds dry, wow. so we need plenty of power. And as you look through the boat, you'll see finished gel coat every place you look, and that all adds weight to it. So we're normally going to power this with a 300 horse. A 250 does a good job, but a 300 is really the right motor for it. Right. Jack plate, power pole, all that equipment uh, really makes it the all-around boat that it is. These two aft compartments are both huge storage compartments. Nice. They're all insulated and drained, so you can use them as a cooler, you can use them as dry storage, you can use them for anything you want. We talked about the pressurized live well. It's unique. The water fills up all the way to the glass. It uh -huh. pressurizes. Okay. So the fish don't know, the bait don't know that they're moving. It stabilizes it. They think they're at home in an aquarium. You turn that 90 degrees and lift it up. Very nice. Now I notice this also has very high-end latches. Mm -hmm. So it's all stainless, you said? All stainless. All the hardware on this boat is 316 American stainless. It's guaranteed for life. 
when Seapro wanted to make a statement when they introduced these boats, so they put a lifetime guarantee on the hardware and a five-year guarantee stem to stern on the entire boat. That's Everything that's is fantastic. covered. fantastic. I also yep. like how you guys painted the inside of the bait mm -hmm. wells that blue because there has been some research and some study that suggests that that color has a very positive effect on your bait. And it's supposed to be a calming effect. Right. Uh, and we have blue LED lights inside that live well. Okay. So at night, you flip the lights on. That's beautiful. All your storage compartments have blue LED lights. Under the gunnels are blue LED lights. Under the water, blue LED lights. We try to convince people that's for fishing, but we all know it's really because it looks so darn sexy it looks at sexy. night. Oh, that, yeah. that is true. <laughs> and I think you mentioned it, Ken, but this is a pressure sealed bait well. So mm -hmm. what is what is the uh, purpose of that? You got a valve underneath this compartment here and you control the pressure pressure it actually pressurizes there's a valve in there that releases the water out when it reaches a certain pressure so it stabilizes so when you're running offshore you've got a live well full of bait and you're running 30 miles offshore to go grouper digging that bait's not sloshing around in there getting killed yep. it literally stabilizes it in there and it doesn't even know you're moving there you go because you know when you're using thread fins and things like that too guys we all know how delicate they are and the less uh, the movement the better you're going to be for those baits so i'll close this for you yeah, that's nice i like the see through uh that you can see through here as well be able to look in there and check on your bait and when you've got passengers on board you've got the jump seat this is the best seat in the house when you're coming back from 30 miles offshore and Absolutely. there's threes and fours this is a nice ride and wow all storage underneath so look at that and these two valves joshua those are the valves i was talking about one controls the pressure in the aft live well and one controls the pressure in the forward live well Very and nice. you pull that access panel off and you've got access to all your through holes well i don't think that you guys could truly appreciate on camera how deep this is what would you say that is three three feet well, let's see here. I mean, look at this. Ken, Ken uh, jumped in I'm here. not going to get in right. there. <laughs> but he, that's at least three feet deep yeah, yeah. of additional storage. And then that, I imagine that opens up to your mm -hmm. bilge. Yeah, that opens into the bilge. So it does help that you have an access port back here and then an access port back here. That way you can really get into the bilge if you have to, to do whatever type mm -hmm. of work you might need. Very nice. I like that. I yeah. like that high, the high back too. Mm -hmm. When you're standing and you just want to maybe take a break. This might be the place. And I, I like the fact that it's located in the middle. So instead of most boats, they put them on the exterior. Well, you may get a little wet mm -hmm. depending on how rough it is. This will help keep you shielded from this center console here. Yeah. This compartment under here, Joshua, this is where your batteries go. Really? And again, I like that. That's nice. Look in the bottom. You're looking in the bilge and you're looking at oh, okay. finished gel coats. Yeah, so you got you got your bilge right back in here, guys. So it's yeah. it's even easier to work in. Yeah. I thought maybe you had to climb under well, there. Well, you do. You've got a bilge pump back there. Okay. And your through holes for your pumps are okay. actually up here. I got gotcha. you. So that looks really, really accommodating, guys. Uh, one of the things that you hate is when a battery goes bad, a bilge goes bad, and you, you have very little uh, space to work with. This looks like it'd be very easy to get in here and grab your battery and you won't be breaking your back trying to do so. Yep. And if you feel the weight of that lid. This is actually really heavy. Yeah. That's all solid fiberglass and look at the bottom of it. That's finished gel coat. Yeah. So this is actually, yeah, you can see that they really did pay attention to the detail with the finished gel coat. But I want to tell you guys, you can't fill it here, but that lid is heavy. That's got to be what? A five pound lid? Yeah. You, you're going to be standing on that all day, every day. So there, there's no plastic lids in this boat. Very nice. I like it. Nice. And this has got the deluxe helm seat with the adjustable bolsters. Wow, look at that. It can be a leaning post. And Seapro realized that we're not all six foot seven. Yep. You've got a fold down footrest here, you've got a footrest here, and you've got a footrest here. So for different height people, I'm only 5'10", so if I'm sitting here, I'm going to use this. My buddy that's six foot two is going to use this. So they thought about it, so it fits everybody. Of course, you got a tilt wheel. Nice. And another thing in this little glove box here is your battery switch. Nice. It's not buried in a compartment someplace. You don't have to stand on your head to get to it. I really like it. It's that. up here where you remember to turn it on, remember to turn it off. A couple of neat features about the Suzuki. When we go to the 300 horse Suzuki, we go to digital. We go to fly by wire. Right. So you have no cables. It's all fly by wire and it's really, really sensitive. 
But one of the things Suzuki found was that it is so sensitive that if we're out trolling for kingfish and we want to be trolling at exactly five and a half miles an hour right. or one and a half miles an hour, whatever it might be, this is almost too sensitive for that. So they have the troll mode here. You put it in troll mode and every time you touch that button, you raise or lower your RPMs, 50 RPMs. Nice. So you watch your GPS, you get to exactly the speed you want to be at and it'll stay right there. That is so cool. it's a really nice feature. Of course, trim tabs, adjustable trim tabs with the indicator. Now this, I was talking earlier about the blue LED lights. Right. This one actually has multicolored LED oh, lights. Yeah. They can be blue, green, red, or white, depending on uh, what kind of a Christmas tree you want to make this look like. <laughs> That's a pretty but, uh, sweet feature though. Yeah, jack plate control here, power, power pole controller here, um, stainless steel holder for your, for your, um, a cup holder for your, no, that's for your uh, I for your uh, cell phone. Oh, yeah, and look then, at that, guys. Tell me that ain't cool. Let's see, push it in there a little bit. Man. Yeah. yeah, and if it runs down, you got a waterproof glove box with the USB port so you can plug it in, charge it up while you're running. Well, that is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. But awesome wallets, money, cell phones. Everything goes in there. Hey, are you serious? Even the cup holders? Are these lighted cup yep. holders? Yeah, you don't want to miss your cup holder. Man, right? You definitely don't. Yeah. I like this though. That, mm -hmm. that, I mean, we're on our phones all the time, but you yeah. can literally work from there and not have to yeah. worry about it going anywhere. So. Yeah, the E box overhead, you've got so much room on this console that you, you've still got room if you want to mount your VHF radio up here. But a lot of times this just becomes dry storage, um, you know, purses, uh, phones, wallets, whatever. And again, if you look inside there, this is an old e-box, and it's all finished gel coat inside. That's awesome that y'all paid attention to that detail. It's important, yeah. I think. These are all LED lights. You've got LED lights in the speakers. You've got the Fusion speakers. Yep. yep. Okay, with the Fusion console, by the way, guys. Mm -hmm. I've had good, uh, nice success with the Fusion. It's lasted a very long time, and it's done mm -hmm. well. So. Yeah, nice, nice radio, nice speakers. I love the uh, black powder coat and the additional mm -hmm. rod storage up here that's mm -hmm. that they've included. The rocket launchers. And this is the best thing they ever did for old guys like me. Yep. When you're climbing in and out of the boat over the gunnels, these handles being built in are amazing. That is actually really good. When yep. you're, especially when you're wanting to step up on here mm -hmm. to get off the boat or depart. Yep. Yeah, that's nice. Aft on that uh, right last, the bulkhead back there is the raw water wash down. Okay. That's standard. You, know, you, you get can in. add the attachment there and yeah, you put just a hook a hose down. up to it ah, and so uh, flip the switch on the dash and you've got uh, all kinds of, uh, you got an unlimited supply of water to wash the deck down when you've been throwing the cast net or you got a bunch of blood on it. Beautiful. Well, right here I noticed guys, and I'll let Ken speak uh, you know, more on it, but this is the uh, little uh, area yep. that you could go and use the restroom or... Yeah, if you, if you look, this is big enough for a uh, you know a five gallon bucket, a porta potty, ton of storage. Uh, you can put uh, all your extra life jackets, clothes, everything down in there, and it is drained as well. So if you get some moisture in there, and while we're on that subject, let's talk about drainage. Yeah. Everything in this boat drains through a central manifold. Okay. All these drink holders have got drains in them. All these compartments have got drains in them, and all these drains drain out through a central manifold in the transom. It's below the water line with a scupper on it, but at, at, at speed, it creates a vacuum. It actually sucks the water out. Okay. We've been out fishing all day in pouring rain, and at the end of the day, there's no water in the build. And again, you're standing on another battery compartment here. Really? It's this okay. is for your trolling motor batteries. Very nice. Already wired for a 36 volt trolling motor. And again, I hate to be repetitive, but you're looking at finished fiberglass yep. everywhere you look. It's in important. This boat. Yep. It makes it so much easier to, to clean the boat. That's that's fantastic. These allows you to access this compartment while the boat's still sitting on the trailer. A lot of them hinge this way, which means you can't get them in, into them unless you're on the boat. Right. The rod holder bracket itself is removable. This is an insulated compartment. It's a drain compartment, so you can use it as a fish box. You can use it as a cooler. You can use it as rod storage. Very nice. And the rods actually have tubes that go all the way forward. If you stick your rod through that bulkhead, it's not going to get hung up on anything. That, that is a beautiful thing. So I really like that feature, guys. I saw that online where you can actually remove the rod holder there mm -hmm. and just to get additional buckets and things in there. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty innovative. And I know it's a small thing, 
but to me those little minute things really make a difference now let me ask you is that a cooler no this is uh, all storage underneath it's storage okay uh -huh. yeah very nice yeah you access access that from underneath and uh you know we got the old man step here for me that's uh, okay for 70 year old knees for climbing up and down and if you open up that fish box there you'll see that compartment is huge oh yeah and again very nice finished gel coat everywhere finished you look gel coat you got the nice little hydraulic no, that's nice man the high pressure hydraulic there so it's mm -hmm. good stuff it definitely feels solid like it really does I keep wanting to turn that that way okay. and then up here obviously all the way forward this is for your, um, your anchor, anchor locker. locker yep and man yeah it's now nice. that's got friction lot latches on it because you may want to open that all the way yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, yeah. that's kind of nice. And it'll stay wherever you put it. Yeah, so you can see here, just by opening it up, guys, it's not going to fall back. And this lid is actually heavy, just like all the other lids. It's not going to go slamming back down, so that's very nice. Really solid, really solid boat. And obviously on this side, we have the same mm -hmm. uh, storage for your rod holders. Yep. And this is the pressurized bait well, mm -hmm. just like... It looks identical to the it one is. in the back. Yeah, they're both 30 gallons. 30 gallons, I mean, 60 yeah. gallons of bait. I don't think you're going to need any more than that. Mm -mm. At least I wouldn't. You've got spreader lights front and rear on the T-top. Very nice. And we're already set up. If you if you want to do any offshore trolling, it's set up for outriggers. Okay. So already just reinforced add that on there. Yep. I like, too, how even on the vinyl, you did the diamond. I think that just looks gives it a high-quality look. Mm-hmm feel to it. Overall. Hey guys, so that's it. Down here at Sunray Marine with all the gentlemen. We got uh, Ken, who's been a great host. He's, he's actually showed us around. We got Bill and Jason. These guys are the owners. Hey, thank you. Josh, appreciate the time. He even purchased yeah. lunch for us. That's how nice he was. <laughs> I really appreciate it, guys. The 248 is a beautiful boat. These guys have a whole bunch of boats that I wasn't even aware of. It's actually a lot larger area than I expected when I first came in. So if you want to check them out, I'll leave their information down below, their phone number and all that great stuff. Make sure you give them a follow on their social media. And hey, if you're in the area and you're looking for a boat, who do they call? Do they call Ken? Ken at Sunray Marine. All right, I'm, I'm going to collect the commission now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I appreciate it, guys. And until next time, we'll see you on the water. Pretty simple.